Hello and welcome. The success of a venture largely hinges on the qualities or leadership qualities of the founders and initial members, employees. So, uh, today we are going to discuss the various qualities uh, that has been recorded uh, to be the qualities of successful entrepreneurs and then uh, uh, we will see means uh, one has to know the qualities of successful entrepreneur and then they can decide uh, about themselves or they can uh, use that information for uh, selecting co-founders or uh, early employees they are important for uh, su success of a business. Now, before we move on to the qualities, we many a times we will be referring to mission vision of a company and uh, the leadership quality or shared vision for uh, in particular. So, let us define uh, mission and vision, vision and mission at the beginning itself so that uh, uh, you are on board. So, vision actually is uh, uh, where the company wants to be in the long run or what the company wants to ac accomplish. Uh, over a long period of time and eventually they want to they want to achieve they want to risk there so uh, vision actually is is a, uh, most of the companies mention vision as a statement but it's actually what they want to achieve in the long run like suppose you want to as if something after 5 years maybe we are talking about the uh, the drone based pesticide uh, spraying business for them it might be to make uh, this technology available to marginal farmer at a competitive cost so that they can afford uh, afford this technology uh, something like that meaning uh, any company would like to achieve that uh, that is mostly uh, in the long that that is in the long run vision statement is a long term goal and is related to the dream and passion uh, and what the company values for example if if we want to presume that what Bill Gates vision should be, uh, it may be his personal vision, but it is around the company. So, he perhaps this is kind of a hypothetical statement perhaps would like to see that every household has a personal computer, but how he is going to make this happen moving forward over years of effort or technology development that is not that is not part of the vision vision is what he wants to achieve in the long run <coughs> similarly as we all know elon musk envisioned to see humankind in mars they are traveling to mars and they are residing there so that is his vision now how he achieved that vision is not part of the vision but then vision actually sets the mission and the strategies how to achieve that vision so for human being to be in mars we need a spacecraft and then how the spacecraft should be designed so that they can go there at a at a at an affordable cost and how they will be residing there under uh, under uh, adverse climate condition etc etc that that is part of the part of the strategies and mission now vision set the direction for your business planning once you have the vision or you set the vision then you plan in fact entrepreneurial venture should be started if you have a vision if you have a vision around a problem you want to solve a problem in a society something like that so that is your passion that you will find a solution so you set a vision and then uh, you make your own mission for a short term uh, achievement and you set the goals and then uh, make a strategy to achieve the goals etc etc now founders have to first of all set the vision and then whoever are working with them founders should be able to communicate their vision to them so that they have a shared vision everybody share the same vision and they try to achieve and the hallmark of successful ventures are actually shared vision all are on the same boat mission on the other hand is slightly shorter term and uh, it is it is the mission of an enterprise is about the purpose for which it exists and what it does on a regular basis what it does and for whom it does that who who it serves and then uh, what value proposition it brings for the customer they serve 
so value proposition and uh, their differentiation like how they are different compared to competitors that is mentioned in the mission mission statement explains its purpose for being and defines its culture values ethics and fundamental goals and how these apply to its stakeholder stakeholders are many actually stakeholders are co-founders employees suppliers then vendors means uh, distributors then investors then uh, lenders all all of the people who people and enterprise organizations who are whose prosperity are tied with the prosperity of the business of the company so they are all stakeholders they have a stake in some way or the other it encourages means the mission statement encourages the team to find innovative ways of productivity to achieve company goals so if all the employees are familiar with the vision so they have shared vision they also think that okay this is where the company should be and then they know the mission so they they will be aligned with the mission of the company and then their their own dream will be aligned with the dream of the company and eventually they will try to they strive to give their best to achieve the goal the company's stakeholders as i mentioned use this statement to align their goals with that of the company with that of their own means their own goals with the companies now here is the mission vision vision mission itc mission vision and and uh, values uh, core values of itc values in the next slide vision it's a it should be a short and simple the vision statement should be short and short and simple uh, it's, it should not be a, a whole paragraph or something uh, and it, itc's vision statement perhaps is the optimum length sustain itc's position as one of the one of india's most valuable corporation through world class performance creating growing value for the indian economy and the company's stakeholders other stakeholders even country's stakeholder the mission is to enhance the wealth generating capability capability meaning that their vision is to remain at the most valuable corporation so the mission is to generate the capability to uh, the value creation capability so there is an alignment here in a globalized environment meaning the competitive world where global companies are also competing <coughs> fighting for 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 the pie delivering superior and sustainable shareholder value now <coughs> vision mission and then core values so what are their core values the values are also part of a very very critical element that companies have to really keep document and then and then present before its stakeholders so that they all understand the value like trust is shit all stakeholder has reposed their trust on the company and they maintain uh, they maintain standards so that this trust is never broken customer focus they are they are always aware of the customers needs or changing needs and then uh, they try to achieve better customer satisfaction moving forward all the time so the customer focus respect for people meaning respect for the team who are working for the company their aspiration their problems it is from both within and outside the company whosoever are uh, are part of the stakeholder then uh, they always strive for excellence meaning whatever they do they try to do the, their the best in the industry and they have uh, in their the close to their heart the value creation for the nation where they work so itc is an indian company it's the owner is bat plc in britain but itc is an indian company and then they try to create value for the nation as a whole <coughs> some more examples of vision statement amazon then microsoft let us read just uber instead of wasting time make transportation as reliable as running water everywhere for everyone so simple so crisp and so meaningful so they have they have obstacles on their way and they are continuously trying to improve like there are security issues there are many more issues so they want to achieve or reach to the to a place where transportation becomes almost like free flow water okay now before we move to uh, the qualities of 
entrepreneurs or successful entrepreneurs, let us connect them with uh, why we should really study this. See, first of all, motivation for starting a company. We have already discussed, but just a quick uh, a review of them. See, I, why people are motivated to start a startup or uh, become an entrepreneur. They identify a pain and then they, they are passionate about solving the pain. So, they come up with a solution. So, they start a company or becoming own boss or maybe hit upon a great business idea that would create great social value. So, there is a compelling, uh, compelling reason for them to start a business. Sometimes just uh, people think that the present job is incapable of you know, exploiting their, uh, their creative talent. They have whole lot of you know, innovative uh, capabilities. So, they think okay, let me go out and start something and, and be my own boss and then I decide what I do. I keep on you know, creative, creating new knowledge and then solve new problems. Some people start just to make a lot of money in short time. Some people are encouraged by my means uh, looking at uh, successful entrepreneurs. They em want to emulate them, or they are motivated to you know follow their path. These are referred to as pool type of entrepreneurs. Means the opportunities pull them to become entrepreneur. There is another kind called push type. So when you have nothing to do, then you start a business. Kind of you are kind of pushed into doing this business without any option to do any other option to do. So, if somebody lose, loses his job and then uh, not getting another. So, what to do? Okay, starts a business. But then many of such entrepreneurs have become highly successful entrepreneurs. So, uh, as long as you do not start a business, you do not know how successful you can be. If you look at data, it might be kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, threatening as if you know you won't be able to uh, intimidating you won't be able to, means it's too much of uncertainty too much of risk so maybe you will feel that it's not my cup of tea but then unless you start your own venture you will not realize that you really have potential to become successful so what was the motivation to create venture the success appears to be associated with unique personality traits of the member founding members so we need to actually uh, understand the qualities or the traits of successful entrepreneur or traits that will help us to become successful so as i said i have been always mentioning this there are data that is intimidating that you know something like 90 percent of the startup fail and then uh, 90 percent of the remaining fail moving forward etc etc but then data are all biased and then uh, if you look at the failed entrepreneurs you will realize that uh, there are compelling reason uh, or, comp or there are mistakes which uh, could have been avoided just being slightly knowledgeable or uh, or with little bit of uh, prior knowledge so one should not be you know pessimistic about these metrics but then at the same time it's very important to understand that uh, entrepreneurial ventures are kind of besieged with or afflicted with uncertainties uh, though they vary from companies to company or type of business but then it seems that entrepreneurs demonstrate or successful entrepreneurs demonstrate some unique skill to handle all these uncertainties and they seem to have unique qualities. So, today's discussion is about those qualities. Execution of an idea is more important than idea per se. You may not have a good idea, but if you see that some people are, start, are doing a business and that business has huge potential, but this business is not executed properly with proper execution perhaps it can translate into a great business then if you have a wonderful team and the capability to execute so there comes entrepreneurial qualities then you can make a wonderful business out of the same idea so even more important than idea is execution a search engine was there long before google started google but then google executed its 
much better than Yahoo, much better than Lycos and many other such search engines and Google is Google today. So why so? Because the team was so great that they executed their business model much better compared to others. Studies on successful entrepreneurs reveal some common personality traits which are regarded as essential for success of the venture. Some of the traits are perhaps intrinsic and some are kind of can be acquired. So that is why we should know means what are intrinsic and what can be acquired. Of course, there is no formula, but then knowing what are those traits will help us. And the criticality of course varies depending on the criticality of the business. The good part is that some traits can be acquired and then perhaps most of us can become entrepreneur, but then it will pretty much depend, depend on the complexity of the business, etc. Et now, there are uh, many, many uh, uh, sources of, of uh, list of qualities, many, many sources. In fact, many are confusing, but then uh, there are some common, uh, common ones. So, today what uh, are being presented are the common characteristic features, which can be regarded as qualities to become successful entrepreneurs. Here is a list, but then uh, this is not exhaustive. I will not read them. Uh, we, we, uh, we will discuss moving forward each one of them. So, just uh, stay tuned. Leadership qualities is the first one. There is no chronological order and you will see that some of the qualities subsumes many other qualities. Like leadership qualities is, is a quality, but it is a basket of several other qualities. So, entrepreneurs have to, co have to constantly plan. So, planning is a quality of a leader, leader and then preemptively act. You plan and act before competitors act and then react because plan will not go means, means things will not pan out as per plan. So, you have to react at times. Then adapt under evolving situation, situation influenced by multifarious parameters, meaning that there are so many variables that is that is affecting your plan or your actions or your activities, your execution that you have to constantly respond to that. Have empathy, we have explained what is empathy, what is the difference between sympathy and empathy just to you know just to refresh your memory. Empathy is like, like feeling the pain by almost like suffering the pain. So, if you empathize with your friend as if you are actually feeling that pain, as if you are suffering from that pain is empathy. Only then you can actually understand how seriously the friend is suffering. But if you have never experienced that kind of pain, you will say sorry, but you will not actually, you would not be able to uh, feel that pain. So, once you feel that pain is empathize. So, you are trying to empathize feeling the pain. So, in the context of business, entrepreneurs or founders have to really empathize with their customer, meaning they have to understand their pain by feeling the pain, not just customer, pain of the, of the employees also. Otherwise, they will be doing injustice. They won't be able to you know, manage relationship with the employees, the suppliers, the investors, they have to empathize with all of them. So, that is part of leadership qualities. They are confident, it is very important. They do not waver, they plan, they analyze and then they plan and then they stick to the plan because they are confident that whatever they have planned is going to, going to happen that way. But it's, it may not always happen, but once they are confident, then other people start following them and every time they are confident, people have a, have a habit of following them because they know that the leaders know what they are doing. So, feeling confident means you know what you are doing. They take full accountability. Whatever they do, it goes bad or good, wherever it goes, they take full responsibility that yes, I took the decision, I am at fault for all their actions. Continuing leadership, leadership qualities, they are honest and they are of high, their honesty and integrity are unquestionable, meaning that obviously self-explanatory. 
the communicative effective this is very important communication does not mean english communication or how uh, fluent you are in english communication means whatever you are trying to mean you are actually communicating that meaning in another word if i have to explain in in simple english communication skill means communicating maximum information with minimum word and communicating completely meaning whatever is philosophy that you want to communicate your listener get the complete meaning of it with minimum words so the communicate effectively means whatever is their mission vision and whatever is the priority that can be communicated so they can motivate all towards common goal because they know this is our goal but if you are kind of confusing and if you if you communicate something now something then and it kinds of confuses people then uh, they they are not going to follow and then people are going to feel lazy and they will not be active activated to action they inspire others while taking responsibility and giving credit for good performance so if somebody is doing something good they immediately shower praise for that but not for non performance if you if you praise somebody without performance he will have a habit of demanding praise without doing it so any time you do something you say good people will be enthusiastic to do it better and better moving forward their expectation will go up so they they will perform better they set their mission or passionately and are committed to achieve the goal in fact they try to push their boundary beyond the goal so every time they try to achieve more than what they what they set to achieve they take the challenge head on and do not give excuses so they they take the challenge and then uh, if they fail they don't say that you know i did not do i did not succeed because of this that etc so they don't give any excuses or they don't uh, you know blame others that you did not do this that is why this happens something like that continuing leadership skill the educate and delegate and empower subordinates and then help them to grow and on their trust and confidence fostering an environment that prol proliferates such values through the team so team members also start you know educating their subordinates and gradually it becomes a learning organization they are creative and innovative they are persons of integrity this has been uh, mentioned at the beginning they are charismatic now what is charisma let us just take bit of digression and explain what is charisma then we'll come back to entrepreneurial qualities charisma as the as a as it is defined in dictionary is a special power that some people have naturally that makes them able to influence other people and attract their attention and admiration suppose you are a man of charisma or a or a woman of charisma so you will find easy acceptance by other people so you propose something people tend to say yes or you ask people to do something they immediately do that so what can be better than charisma you want people to do you want people to give their best so here are the elements of charisma one is be self confident if you are confident people will know that okay we need to do we need to follow this person he is confident he knows or he or she knows what is what and what we are up to be polite very important politeness does not cost any money but be polite you will find a positive atmosphere around you be patient don't be you know hurry in a hurry or you want to get it get fast or something be patient your turn will come keep the words if you make a promise keep it mention something keep it come in time do everything as per program so keep the words always have others best interest in mind is very very important suppose you are making an argument or you are trying to make a sales pitch before somebody you try to focus the interest of the other person whatever their aspirations are so you try to fulfill that aspiration as if you are working for their benefit so they will they will be positively you know inclined and then uh, then your job will be done better be experts in your own field so you become an expert 
in your own field. So people will not bluff to you. People will know that you know. So they will be kind of, uh, you know, they'll be respecting you in that sense. So part of honest and they are honest means these people are honest people with charisma ethical and above board meaning they are real people they do not pretend something they are something or they pretend to be honest it is not like that they are honest. Not physically repulsive meaning that uh, you know they they kind of is tied they are tidy they keep uh, hygiene personal hygiene so that you know you do not feel repulsive about the, this person. Uh, it it does not mean that somebody should be you know uh, handsome or beautiful or something that whatever God has given, but you can always maintain nice dress, you can always maintain your personal hygiene, you can keep everything tidy whatever you have. So, it is very important, they seem real, they are not artificial, they do not uh, you know they do not behave like a hum, humbug like you know uh, as if they are something uh, hi fi or something, they are they are real people they are whatever they are. Listen twice as much as the talk is very very important. In any argument if you are talking when the other guy also is talking you will never reach anywhere whereas allow the other people whether it is a team of people group of people just listen. So, that they feel that okay, their point of view has been have been well taken then you tell them ok. So, you are done now let me explain. The moment you do that, you will find a absolute silence and then whatever you are going to say, it becomes acceptable to them. It is kind of a mantra. Last point is they are helpful, they are flexible and they are accommodative. So, they will be giving concessions to others and then other people with all of this become gradually become you know acceptable, you become acceptable to them and you have a man or women of enormous charisma. So, come back to entrepreneurial qualities the next quality in the order is people skill. So, people skill also is almost like part of leadership skill, but then uh, some of the literature that I have uh, followed mention people skill separately like this particular presentation majority of, of the component in this presentation is taken from a book I have given from Harvard business review the reference is there at the end. So, it is from there. People skill founders have to be able to communicate their vision to all the stakeholders, so that all are committed to achieve single goal. Such stakeholders are all these we have mentioned. The ability to lead, get people invested in their ideas, gain confidence, give them a sense of belongingness, motivate to give their best, very important. You know everybody is capable of, of every human being is capable of doing great jobs. So, if you can motivate them to give their best you can create just you can create wonderful enterprises, you can create success stories. Success of a business rests mainly on many pillars and one of the pillars are the people and one must communicate with confidence give a sense of win win and create an environment of optimism only then it becomes the enterprise becomes successful. Now, some more elements of people skill like leadership quality that has been discussed earlier persuasion how you you know emphasize and then try to pursue influence how, how much influence you exert network building meaning peer network meaning connectivity with the with people that matter, ability to excite people by vision, shared vision, strong ethical and go governance standard meaning you do not uh, you have a corporate governance, you do not you follow the ethics that you have that is that is the best, uh, best standard. Then they abide by laws of the land and respect ownership of others. Laws of the land is quite understand, understandable. Ownership of others meaning suppose meaning that they do not infringe upon other people's right. They do not infringe on some technologies owned by others, some properties owned by others. So, they respect other people's ownership on all the assets. Next is the work style. 
they are goal oriented they plan and they set the goal and then try to achieve that goal they are comfortable with uncertainty they are not afraid of uncertainty as i have been continuously emphasizing that opportunities come with uncertainties so if somebody is not comfortable with uncertainty they will never be able to venture into something that promise unprecedented growth or you know, or high growth so they should be comfortable with uncertainty they are self challenging meaning that they set goal and then they try to push the boundary or push the goal itself meaning that they try to achieve more or they try to uh, they try to pit themselves against something which is you know larger than themselves something that is more challenging than achievable so they are self challenging they are kind of solitary solitary has different meanings here but then the meaning here is that they don't want to you know work under somebody and take orders or they don't want to become a follower of somebody they prefer to be their own boss and and set their own goal goals and then achieve that they they are rarely satisfied they are always they are never complacent they always are looking for newer and newer challenges and then they are driven by plan and to be prepared they prepare the plan and then they they move accordingly experiment they are, they have a experimental mindset meaning that somebody may say that i have never heard of this but they don't they don't never say this they are experimental they try to try to experiment and see whether this is possible they don't say that nobody did this so it's not possible okay with starting small and then recognizing and moving past failures they can start with a very small and then they know that gradually and gradually moving forward they will create something big even though they may fail in between perseverance in the face of adversity so they keep on pursuing even in the face of adversity and then they become successful they always look for better or different way of doing things meaning better way of doing things they have a, they have enormous ability to close a deal meaning that if they are bargaining with somebody they have a, they have unique ability like uh, charisma so they have some ability to close deals they are inclined to listen they are inclined to trust people and take advice so they are not you know they don't they are not egoist that they will think whatever they think is the best they take advice from others as well and then they they decide whether this advice is good better or whatever next is the, the empathy to all stakeholders this can never be over emphasized empathy actually will keep all the stakeholders in a single string like like a garland so it's very important they strive to feel the pain of others and then solve it for employees they try to try to put themselves replacing the employee in the place of the employees and understand how difficult it is for them to perform and then they realize how with how much of difficulties employees are performing for the success of the company and then they reward them accordingly so they try to empathize through feeling their pain by practicing uh, like the employees they believe that customers are always right customers can never be wrong so they don't kind of try to qualify that or or try to understand means argue on that if customer is complaining they should try to alleviate or ameliorate that whatever the pain is and correct it and the company must strive to satisfy them to remain and grow business continuing from the previous slide they are empathetic to all concern they try to feel the pain of the employees as i mentioned they try to align the company objectives with those of the employees and make generous packages to the employees so that they are happy at home and they deliver best in the company employees feel as if the company belongs to them it's their own company so they will always try to you know remain there and then try to work their best empathizing with customer can never be 
empathizing is customer is part of empathy. So, no matter how ground breaking your idea is unless there are customers and they are paying you profitable price in exchange for the goods or the services that you give there is no business. So, understanding customers and then empathizing with them is the hallmark of success of long surviving companies and gaining repeat loyal growing customer base. Entrepreneurs are financial savvy meaning they are comfortable with finance, they know how the cash flow is estimated and what is the significance of cash flow becoming negative, what is the significance of profitability and how profit can be improved, how cost can be cut etc. etc. They have a clear understanding of the cash flow, understanding of the you know bottom line meaning profit, the burn rate means at what rate cash is being you know lost or burnt or profit um, is generated, how value is created, then whether why the pricing should be done like that, why we cannot reduce the price, why competitors are you know pricing it lower than us, they should know, they should understand. They cannot just casually cut the price, then there will be no profit. So, how much you can cut and why you should cut, how much market we are going to get access to, acquire etcetera. They are comfortable with financial governance. They are able to manage money is very important, meaning financial savvy is one thing, managing money is another. Entrepreneurs or successful entrepreneurs can make a buck go a long way, one rupee you can do something. Entrepreneurs can do much better, means they can do more with the same one rupee. Those who are incapable of managing money surely fail in business, there is no alternative. One must know where from the money comes and where it goes, it is part of the cash flow. Do you want less than you spend? If they have no clue, they are gone, the business is gone. And then if they know, then how to reverse the trend, meaning how to earn more than you spend. Do you have clear estimate of the shortfall over the months and have you made proactive action to meet the shortfall? Meaning raise capital or plan to raise capital at a time when cash flow is going to be negative. Experts have an eye for cutting cost without affecting operation or without affecting total number of customers. Customers should not go sorry without affecting operation and without affecting profitability. Poor fund management are frequently the cause of failure. We will take break here and we will continue. Uh, in the next session on the same topic that is qualities of successful entrepreneurs. Thank you very much.